Well, hi there, folks. Uh, I'm just uh, moving into a new place at the moment, and uh, these arrived for me today. Actually, yesterday, and I picked them up from the post office today. And uh, so we've got the new 2022 LG Gram. It's a 16 inch here, and the LG Gram Plus View, which is a sort of monitor that sing similar 16 inch side, same resolution. And uh, we're going to see how those work. And as you can see, I am still moving in boxes everywhere, etc., etc. And here we go. Here's a setup. Up here, uh, so I got it lunchtime today. Left it sort of setting up. So here it is. It's probably still downloading some uh, OneDrive stuff, and uh, you'll see that I've got the two screens set up here. They plug in through the uh, all the screen plugs in through the uh, US one of the two USB C ports here into one of the two USB C ports. Uh, there's one on this side and one on the other side. Um, I haven't been able to make the two USB-C ports on a monitor work together. So for example, using one as power delivery uh, for charging a phone uh, or to power the entire setup. Um, so uh, be aware that at the moment, the way I, I figure it is that really this is just a single port, but it's just for your convenience. You can use one or the other, depending on which side uh, you put it in. And uh, that means that um, as well as the two USB-C ports here, um, and there's also an H HDMI just here. Um, it's one of the beauties of this device is that there's all these ports. So there's uh, two USB A's. Uh, I think it's a Kensington lock there. And then just here we've got a um, micro SD. Prefer to have had a full sized um, SD card, but there you go. That's got kind of everything, can you? Um, but what's pretty nice here is having these two monitors lined up like this and. Um, uh, it's one of the sort of things that I was looking at. As, uh, uh, the last one I had was a 17 inch from the 2020, which we're going to compare it with in a moment. Um, but we'll have a look to see how it is with the new screen because it's now a matte finish screen, both on the uh, main uh, PC of the 22, 2022 edition and, and also on this um, LG Gram Plus View monitor. So here we have the two uh, screens together from the 2022, just here, the 16 inch. And then uh, I have here the um, 2020 17 inch. And you can see the reflection on the 2020. Uh, and then there we go on the 2022 edition. You can see that the nice matte finish means that uh, it's a lot more, um, for me, I much prefer that. It's a lot more visible. Now, one of the reasons why I've kept this 2020 is that I didn't realize how great having a 17 inch screen was, and particularly in a, a, a 2560 by 1600, I think it is, uh, resolution, so a 1610 resolution screen. Uh, I've absolutely loved this. I, I've not been a fan of um, larger screens, I've generally gone for sort of 13 inch laptops. Uh, but when I got this just after COVID lockdown started, I think it was in April 2020, uh, thinking that these lockdowns wouldn't have lasted very long, but they ended up lasting a lot longer than we thought. You're going to focus, thank you. Um, I got it and then it, I sort of used it and I thought this is actually really quite useful. Um, the larger screen means for development work you've got so much more available to you and um, so I'm. Uh, this has become pretty much a daily driver now, certainly out of COVID it's become a daily driver and um, I also found that 2560 um, uh, resolution uh, by whatever it's, uh, it's, I think it's 1600, um, for that um, I found actually maybe I could go a little bit smaller and uh, so I thought we'll go for the 16 inch so a little bit lighter and uh, I think this is uh, about 150 grams lighter and uh, so we'll see how we get on. You'll see the keyboard slightly different so over on the uh, keypad area you'll see uh, there's only three columns there whereas on the 17 inch you've got more. Um, I'd not, I prefer this uh, larger uh, key legends compared to on the 16 inch version uh, that's the sort of was the first thing that I saw but you'll also see that this touchpad is whoa much bigger than in the earlier version um, now one thing that I do really like uh, about these uh, larger format uh, laptops 
in the from the LG Gram is just how light they are. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Um, well, one other thing that you'll notice in the 2020 was that uh, it came with a barrel jack, although you could charge it from the single USB-C connector. Uh, this had one single USB-C and three USB-As, and that was, for me, fantastic because I still have plenty of legacy stuff. I do um, uh, development for embedded systems, so USB-A is, is pretty much very, hand, very handy to have available uh, for all the development tools. Um, this has dropped it down to two USB-As, uh, as I mentioned before, but with two USB-Cs, so we have that uh, option on there. I noticed as well that uh, this one came with a, a USB-C dongle uh, for with a 100 meg uh, Ethernet LAN uh, adapter, which is kind of handy on occasion, uh, although I didn't see this in the box of gubbins um, the, uh, with this one, so uh, that's a difference. So another difference is that uh, on this uh, 2022 version is it comes with a, an i7-1260p processor uh, which has, I think it's eight economy cores and four performance cores so 16 cores in total because the performance cores have um, hyper threading on them and uh, also a, a reason why i skipped the 2021 model um, was because initially when the 2021 model came out the largest size memory you could have was 16 uh, gig although i noticed in january this year you could get a 32 gig version um, now because i do a lot of embedded systems sorry a lot of um, uh, virtual machine work uh, what I found was was that 16 gig just isn't enough these days I mean I might potentially have six or seven virtual machines always running at the same time uh, so one of the beauties of this old smoker 2020 machine was that you could have on it um, 40 gig of RAM because one of the eight, there's an 8 gig stick which is soldered in and there's a um, a spare uh, slot there which you can put in uh, uh, up to another 32 gig so this has got 40 gig of ram so actually this old 2020 version has more ram than this 32 gig version uh, which is the 22, 2022 version however uh, this is much uh, much better sort of balanced because um, they're both going to be 16 gig uh, so dual channels and uh, much better performance uh, and DDR5 as opposed to so LPDDR5 as opposed to LPDDR4 I think was on the 2020 version. Um, so I should just say that the CPU in in the old 2020 version was uh, an i7 1065 G7 which is pretty good actually. Um, and for most of my th stuff that I do, which uh, varies to say from embedded systems uh, to distributed systems uh, and big database operations. So this um, uh, 2020 version I've got has got uh, two slots in it, uh, NVMe slots. And uh, so it's populated with four terabytes on there. So I can do some uh, big uh, chunky database work on sort of terabyte plus size databases. And uh, uh, this one I haven't upgraded yet because I only got it today. I haven't even opened it up yet, uh, the 2022 version. And uh, so it's got one terabyte. And we'll have a look to see what the uh, performance is on that uh, SSD. So here's the disk I.O. figures, the crystal disk mark figures for the 2022. Because um, it's NVMe uh, PCIe 4, this isn't the best you could expect out of it. It should, uh, if you, with, the hard, with a really good um, SSD, you should be getting about seven uh, gigabytes a second. Um, and I switched off as much as I could here, so the network switched off, and uh, I've switched off uh, Windows Search and uh, Antivirus to get that figure. Um, it was significantly less when you like down to about three gigabytes a second once you shovel that nonsense on. But I suspect the machine is still setting itself up. So uh, the usual thing, you switch you switch the machine on, and then for about the next three hours, it's still doing stuff. And this is on the um, the 2022, sorry, 2020 version. Uh, this has got a Sabrent drive that replaced the stock drive on there, on drive C, a two gig one. Uh, so you can see that's not bad, but that's a PCIe 3 um, uh, by four lane uh, device. So you see it's actually doing okay considering uh, it's only uh, say only PCIe 3 and to be honest in the, in reality I don't think you'd actually really notice any any 
difference. Uh, so there you go. So one of the things that's always bugged me about the LG uh, Gram 2020 was the audio, and uh, it was a bit tinny and uh, also uh, it distorted very early on, uh, and uh, I basically found that if I was going to listen to it uh, or watch a video on it or something, I'd either have to use headphones or an external uh, speaker. So let's compare the two. So this is a 2020 with the sort of normal crab rave uh, example. And now we'll try the 2022. Back to the 2020. I don't know. Uh, it's less tinny, but uh, I think it's distorting um, still. And um, so a little bit of a disappointment there. Uh, as, uh, I found, as I say, the audio is probably the weak, one of the weakest parts. When I've used it in meetings, uh, in a sort of, I don't know, meeting room for about 10 or 12 people, I found that the, um, although you could have a, a video conference meeting uh, at a push, you know, if uh, the norm, normal conferencing facilities weren't available, it was a bit difficult to be able to sort of, um, hear things properly and I, and I don't think that the uh, 2022 version is is really that much better although it's a little bit less tinny so um, that one's not not the best uh, result but uh, that's uh, that's my opinion so here's some of the backlight um, one of the good things about the 2020 was actually the backlight uh, for the keyboard and as you'll see I don't think it's as good in the uh, 2022 version um, a part of it might just be as I mentioned earlier the legend on the keyboard is uh, much smaller and I'll say something about the power supply so this comes with a 65 watt power supply and it's exactly the same uh, size certainly UK version is as the 48 watt supply that came with the 2020 version um, albeit the, uh, the 2022 version has got a USB-C rather than the barrel connector um, actually I'll show you there. that's where it comes into my uh, dongle here I'm using a dongle because I've got an ethernet connection on here um, so uh, from that perspective uh, that's quite nice to have 65 watts in, in a relatively small package um, and I suspect that you could probably run this on a, on a lower wattage supply as well I haven't tried that um, but it does come up with a warning um, if you for example if I plug in the 65 watt into into this um, sort of multi-way um, USB dongle uh, I get a warning that it might not be quite enough power to, to fully um, power the machine uh, but it's been so been great so far so uh, no complaints there so power supply thumbs up I'm just going to say something about the LG Glance software, which is a bit of software which allows you to do a whole bunch of things based around the camera. It allows you to sort of move uh, windows about from one screen to another, uh, dim the, the or log you off automatically when you disappear um, for over sort of a few seconds or so. Uh, some security related uh, bits of software. Uh, I tried it for about 10 seconds and just thought, this is just too much like hard work to deal with and uh, just gave up with it. So your mileage may vary. If you're young and uh, you, you have time on your hands to figure out what, how best to use it, good for you. Uh, but for me, I think it's probably just going to end up being a gimmick. So I'm just going to add on to the end here. It comes with a couple of bits of annoying software. Uh, one of them is McAfee um, and the other one is... Uh, 
uh, lap link pc mover i didn't even know lap link was still around i remember using it in the 80s uh, using 115 kilobit uh, serial cables to transfer data between pcs i don't think it's that useful anymore especially with um the likes of uh, things like the app stores and uh the way that things like Office is uh, distributed now. Um, so I don't know, that may be of use to you or not. I don't know, but I got rid of them. Uh, I just thought it's not... I, I, I just don't like bloatware on machines. It's sort of the 20, that was one of the great things about the old 2020 machine was that uh, it didn't have that on there. So, um, you know, I don't know why they've sort of started doing that. I will tell you about the deal that I got on this. Um, I bought this about a week ago. I happened to be sort of grazing around and hoping that at uh, some stage this uh, 2022 uh, version would be out uh, pretty soon and uh, sure enough I saw it advertised on the UK website went in there and ordered it and they had a deal with the monitor so the monitor was thrown in free so it's a 300 pound monitor uh, 1550 quid for the spec I have which is 32 gig on one terabyte SSD and uh, then also if you if you become an LG member you get two percent off plus an introductory discount of an additional five percent off I'm not being sponsored for this, by the way, but there you go. So basically, if you look at it, if you want to buy this now, you, the, then that those uh, sort of discounts with a thrown-in monitor have, have disappeared now. I think uh, they say out of stock now, but you can buy it. So uh, I paid, I think, sixteen hundred or so, sixteen hundred and forty quid, I think, for the two items and everything thrown in with all the discounts it was about 1640 but now the sticker price is uh, about 20,050 so I got about 20% discount or so off of that uh, which I thought was uh, was pretty good um, so uh, there you go that's a that's an option for you anyway I'm really sorry about the quality of this video it was just uh, something I threw together as you can see I'm still kind of uh, emptying boxes here so uh, I don't know how long this is going to take uh, but uh, the last time I uh, moved house uh, it took me um, about six months <laughs> to empty all of the boxes so anyway um, uh, I, if I look at this a little bit more in depth uh, another time then uh, I'll uh, get back to you and uh, see how we get on but uh, so far so good very early days and i uh, hope you enjoyed the, the video uh, albeit sort of just uh, after a couple of hours of use cheers now and thanks for watching